I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? I flew direct from Bangkok to Bandasiri Begawan with Royal Brunei Airlines. The comfortable seat and entertainment on board made the 2 hours and 45 minute flight seem very shorter. Suddenly, we're here at one of the richest and most peaceful countries in the world, Brunei Darussalam. I had such a warm welcome by Ricky, my new friend here. Reminding me of the first time I was here with the ship for Southeast Asian and Japanese youth program. A dazzling place I never knew. But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. The first must-see is this splendid place, Jami Asri Asenal Bogia Mosque. We have such an honor to explore and film in many special parts of this mosque. Named after the 29th Sultan, this architectural masterpiece was built in 1988 and opened to the public in 1994. It is one of the most imposing and majestic buildings in Brunei Darussalam. Its grand scale means that this sacred building can be seen from afar and that it can accommodate 4,000 worshippers at a time. Strolling around this splendid place, it seemed like I slipped into a fairy tale. Now we're going to see the stunning sunset over Mahkota Jubilee Amas. I think this is the good timing of the day. Yeah. When the sun is setting. Yeah, because the weather also is very good. Very good. Yeah. Blue sky, clear yes. sky. Alright, so I think this is unique spot in yes. Banda that everyone should come during yeah. the sunset time. Because we could see yeah, the mosque. See the mosque and then the water village. Yeah. Those bridge. The, yes, the new bridge. They and go. this one. The this one, yes, bridge. Echo Corredo Bridge, yes. built for uh, memorial for our 50 years. Uh, our Sultan rules Brunei. It's called Golden Jubilee. Right. Yes. Okay. I feel this is truly a hidden gem of Southeast Asia. It is such a beautiful open space to enjoy both the nature and great architecture at the same time. Well, let's enjoy taking photos around. Nighttime is the best time to visit Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque. This is an iconic landmark of Brunei Darussalam and one of the most 
beautiful architectures of Southeast Asia. I've seen this place in postcards and tourism commercials. Seeing it with my own eyes today gave me a bliss. Okay, this building they call Rare Galia Museum. Mm. They have uh, three gallery inside this museum. Yes. You can see that side. That is a Sultan Museum. Yes. And then upstairs, all the gift from other country, the Sultan put here. Oh, yes. Then in the middle there, they uh -huh. have a Silver Jubilee me a gallery. Sorry, oh. yeah, gallery. Yeah. And inside that also have one chariot, the big chariot for our Sultan. No. Because our Sultan that time uh, rules 25 years, our Sultan rules Brunei. Okay. Then that is the gallery for 25 years, our Sultan rules Brunei. Yes. And this chariot they call a uh, coronation chariot. Yes. And this only used for one time. Uh huh. And during in 1968. 68, the coronation day. Yes, in 1968. It looks to me like very big, bigger than chariot in some other countries. Yes. Yes, and they don't use horses. No, the use people here. They have a 48 people push and pull, no engine. Oh. Yeah, they just have tire there. Okay. Yeah, and then upstairs only Sultan can sit there. Oh, so great. Next, we're exploring Kampong Ayer, the world's largest water village. Located in the capital city of Bandar Seri Begawan, this village is a cluster of around 40 small villages connected by 38-kilometer boardwalk. It is believed that the village dates back to more than 600 years. We're going to visit a local host who will show us around her home. My house is open for tourists, so a lot of tourists also come to visit my okay. house. It's a package together with the boat, okay. and then we serve also a local kueh or local... Kueh? Yes, ah, kueh. It's we dessert. Call it kueh. dessert. Yes, uh, dessert. Okay. In Singapore and so, Malaysia, sometimes they use this word, kueh. Kueh, yes. K-U-E-H. Kueh, yes. Kue. It's uh, considered as kueh Malayu. Right, right, yeah, right. right. Yeah. Yeah, this is sticky a, rice? A sticky rice uh, with pulut panga. Inside is plain beef. Prawn also we have. Prawn, okay. yes. Looks like one Thai dessert called tako. Kotako, yeah. It's tako. the same kotako. Tako, it's the same tako. <laughs> so this is we call chalurut. Chalurut. Pandan? Pandan. Yeah, Pandan. Sure. Pandan. Here. From okay. egg? Egg, From. coconut milk, a bit sugar. Okay. Now let's dress like a local. Walking around the village, I feel a simple and slow life. Local people live here with the nature. The whole community, houses, schools, mosques, hospitals are here. They commute by boat. Water truly plays an important role in people's lives here in Southeast Asia.
Borneo is also the third largest island in the world, where people of Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei Darussalam live together. The rainforest here is the world's second oldest, around 140 million years old. The forest is home to 15,000 different plant species and over 200 mammals, with some are found only in Borneo. Therefore, it is normal to see unique-looking kinds of animals. And this evening, we're sailing along mangrove forest to meet our new friends, proboscis monkeys or long-nosed monkeys. The Empire Hotel and Country Club is Brunei Darussalam's most prestigious and luxurious beach resort. This Madasiri Bega One Hotel offers fantastic views of the ocean, lagoons, the spacious gardens, and the resort's golf course. I've heard about this place for a long time, and I'm very glad to see this with my own eyes. Ricky told me this place used to be Sultan's residence, then turned to be a seven-star hotel. The atmosphere around is serene. We actually should not miss the sunset here by the nice and clean beach because it is super beautiful. Hope you enjoy the trip. Our local friends are waiting to welcome you. Stay tuned for more stories from Brunei Darussalam. Please subscribe. <music>